Hey, welcome to SPR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Lozak. We are previewing week nine in the NFL. We're talking right now with returning guest Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. We're going to cover uh, the Saints-Jets game. Troy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. I appreciate being back on the show. Last week, two and two in the NFL, and one of our winners was actually uh, the Bengals over the Jets. It's a pretty high public play, but we held firm with it, and I think we got a pretty good sign again this week, Pete. Okay, good. Yes, I trust you. Long-term, long-term winners at AllPlaysWin.com in the NFL and college football. All right, the Jets are six-point home underdog. Totals 45 and a half, and, you know, the Jets got crushed by Cincy. Maybe Geno Smith wearing down a little bit. Not exactly sure. The Saints, of course, came off a bye, absolutely rolled uh, the weak Bills. You know, they played a little bit of a flawed game, the Saints, but they've still got a very, very strong Capable defense that's really uh, improved tremendously this year. Drew Brees is Drew Brees as always. Uh, you know, going on the road, giving almost a touchdown, a little bit iffy, especially with uh, as good as the Jets defense has been overall this week. Right now, I have no opinion on this game. What do you like here, Troy? You know, I'm actually going to go with the Saints. I'm, I've been one of the few guys that has not been high on the Jets all year, even these, these kind of fluke wins that they've pulled out. I know they have a talented defense. I know Rex Ryan's done a fantastic job with that defense, but I'm not on the Geno Smith bandwagon. I'm not on the Jet bandwagon. I think they got an, a huge, huge reality check, losing by 40 points to the Cincinnati Bengals. 40 points in an NFL game against Cincinnati, to me, is a, a mediocre team at best right now, and the Jets lose by 40. Tells me that they got a huge reality check. Now they got to flush that right away and come and place one of the best teams, if not the best team, in the NFL right now in the 7-1 Saints. So... I'm rolling with the Saints. I think the Saints are clicking. They came off the bye. They beat a, a Bills team that had surprised some teams and played some teams close. you got to remember the Bills are, are no pushover. They beat Miami the week before that on the road. So I thought it was a pretty good statement win for the Saints. They're good on both sides of the ball. They're good on special teams. They're healthy. I think six points is a pretty low number for one of the top teams in the NFL against the, a below-average Jet team who – I think got a, an extreme reality check last week. All right, but maybe that game last week was just like an outlier. I mean, outliers, you know, anomalies happen all the time in the NFL. Uh, teams run up uh, big scores for all sorts of uh, wacky, fluky reasons. I mean, six points at home for a team with as good as, a def as the Jets' defense has been all year is very a dangerous proposition to bet against. You know, the Jets, the last home game, they looked terrible against Pittsburgh. I know they played better against New England and snuck out that game, but you know, over their last three games, they've been up and down. I'm not rolling with them. I'm just, I'm not a believer in this team yet. If they prove me wrong this week, maybe I'll start back a little bit more. But until they can do it in consecutive weeks and, and, and prove that they're an upper echelon NFL team, so far to me, they haven't. They've pulled out a few fluky wins. I think the Saints are the real deal, and I think they'll get it done against, the, to me, an average to below average Jet team. All right. I agree that the Saints have a huge edge here. The question is six points on the road. Just kind of hard to take, but we will see how this turns out. Troy West liking the Saints minus six. Thanks, Troy. Thanks.